special request again. This is, I don't know the gentleman, so I don't want to actually name him, uh, but it's a Scot that's living out in Thailand, and he'd specifically asked for lentil soup. Now, I'm going to just caveat it with, he did say it wasn't the orange type, and um, that it was more yellow, so just in case this is too orange for you, it could have been yellow split pea that your granny used to use. But anyway, we're going to make lentil soup. And I've been doing a wee bit of experimenting because you can obviously, you can buy stock cubes from the likes of Lidl if they've got them in ham stock cubes. And if I remember right, these were only 49 pence for 12. So you could do it that way. However, gentleman specifically asked for meat base. So what I did was we went to a couple of shops and we just priced. So I know you can buy likes of the uh, actual bones, the hochs, and the, but they tend to be around about three pound, three pound fifty now, which isn't necessarily the cheapest pot of soup. So what we've done is we've actually found this. So it's just a back, pa five hundred gram packet of cooking bacon. So it comes out and it's it's almost like. A, it's off cuts of just packs of bacon or gammon or whatever. So it is smoked and it was 79 pence. So for a meat based soup, I don't think you'll get much cheaper than that. So first and foremost, we have a pot. No, we don't. Well, we do have a pot, but we've got a kettle that's already come to the boil and we'll just put it all in. Now you can use more if you like, but I'm going to say around about two litres of water. Then what we have is a full mug of your red lentils. I think they're actually called split lentils as well, but they are just red lentils. So we'll just pop that in. Our 500 grams of the meat. Now I'm putting it straight in. What you might discover is there could be a little bit of a sort of residue comes off it. But if so, just come through and uh, use a big open-ended spoon just to take out any, what well, I suppose would be called scum, but you might not, I have trimmed it, I've taken off the fat. Now we have three just medium sized onions, halved, three carrots, sort of half a, a turnip, but it wasn't a big turnip. Now what I'm going to show you, it might disgust some of you, but I always tell you to keep your vegetables, because vegetables, especially if you keep them in the fridge, they last a lot longer than you think. Now when I took this turnip out the fridge, it had obviously already been half used. So it did have the outside edge looking rather yucky. Cut it off. There's nothing wrong with it on the other side. You just trim away what you don't want. And actually just whilst we're there, I'll just remind you that you do already get the line inside the turnip there. That you, That's where you cut it round. And that's you getting rid of the husk. So we'll just... Crack at, I'm going to actually do it all today, make it fed up watching me, but you're just needing to roughly chop them, chop your onions that is. Now once it comes to using the actual bacon you can never tell just how salty it's going to be, so I would actually just tell you to cock any, don't add salt at this stage. If you're going to be like me, and I'm going to pop in a couple of ham stock cubes as well. But you'll get away with just like a couple of stock cubes going in it. But if you are using just salt, which you can do, you don't need to use more stock at this point. Wait till it's cooked through. I wouldn't think you'll need more than about half a teaspoon. But I would advise you to just wait and taste it. So I'm trying to think what we've been up to and things. But I think all just now, I think everywhere we're looking and hearing, it's all about coronavirus. So again, a great idea. Soup doesn't take long to make and you can keep it in the cold for a few days. So a great big batch and you're good to go. Now my carrots, I've, cl I've scrubbed but I have left, I've topped and tailed them but I've left the skins on the ones I could. The downside sometimes of keeping veg is that it obviously can just darken a little in the fridge. But that's all right, don't worry about it. Now ordinarily, I would use my um, blender, but I'm just wanting you to just see how quickly you can make a pot of soup from scratch. It does take a wee while to cook, but just always remember it'll take about an hour and a half to cook down, but once it's made you're then only reheating it. 
So, you know, although it maybe sounds like a long while, an hour and a half, it's really not. Now, at this point, we could do a, a wee in and you could come back again in a, a minute just as I'm finishing it. I'm going to just say sorry straight away, we had to actually stop filming. Poor Kenny, he's been uh, out demolishing a, what did you say, a pitch and, pitch and stone, stone wood garage, garage roof. roof and his poor wee arm started to shake. So next time uh, I say I'm making lentil soup, I better get back and stick and use in the blender. Now, I've only got a couple of potatoes left to grate, but I did kind of leave them because they're slippy, so really be very, very careful. The amount of knuckles that I've lost grating potatoes. But I'll just stop at this point in a second. I'll just tell, go through it all again. So it was about half a turn up, three smallish potatoes, three carrots, three onions, a mug of lentils, and then whatever ham stock you're using. I'll finish these in a wee minute. Kept a wee bit of the tumshi back for me. I love my neep. But, uh, and it's lovely, raw. I know there's a lot of people forget that you can do, eat these things raw, but uh, love it. Ever since I was a wee girl, used to shh, steal them out of the farmer's fields. A good old uh, sprinkling of black, black pepper. I'll say half a teaspoon. Maybe it sounds an awful lot, but uh, there's quite a lot of water in there. Now, garlic is optional. I like putting garlic in most things, as everybody has realised, but even I won't put in an awful lot into my soup. I'm using a tiny wee teaspoon here, I don't know why, but just a teaspoon of garlic will be fine. And then last but not least, parsley. Dry parsley is absolutely fine, especially if you get it, I think, in little because it's still really dark. It keeps its colour very, very well. I mean, this has been open in the jar probably for a couple of months, and it is still really quite dark so I would advise if you can get to Lidl and we're going to go for two teaspoons of dried parsley fresh if you have it super now this I would keep my eye on it because for all there's two litres of water in there and it obviously looks quite thick it will cook down a little but if you don't want it thick thick then come and add some more hot water I'm going to leave this like this, With the reason I grated it like that was because it gives your soup a little bit of coarseness but obviously if you want and you have, once it's cooked you can put it in the blender and just get a lovely soft consistency Alternatively, don't grate at all, just chop some of your carrot and turn up into little cubes and do that Now there was one other thing I needed to say to you because obviously this will be the end of this recipe we'll just pop out a bowl of soup for um, photographs but if you're using potato and meat I you only ever put potato in my lentil soup if I'm using meat because potatoes can turn your soup within a couple of days always keep it in the fridge if you can if you're just using ham stock cubes and it's kept in the cold it should keep for up to four days so if you make a good batch of lentil soup or any soup it saves you cooking over the next few days and I'm just getting some signals from Kenny his arms are obviously about to start shaking again so I will just leave it at that today and I hope the gentleman that asked for it in Thailand I hope I've helped but if you need to get back to me Helen or um, at Helen Arma on Twitter you'll find us orkneynews.scot on the web and obviously the YouTube channel is again just the Orkney News. Leave me feedback, subscribe as always, and if you need the recipe, it is on the So thank you again for watching. 